We are back. Falcons franchise. The last played game, or the last game, I should say, of season one of this series. We do still have a whole off season and draft to do, but who we 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 came a long way, finishing with the best record in the whole NFL, getting the one seed. Coming off some tough losses throughout the season. A very close game against the Buccaneers in the playoffs that nearly knocked us out in round one. A dominant performance against the 49ers in the championship game. To where we are now. Kansas City going into this game. They're good all around. They're a top 10 defense in all categories. They're number two in offen offensive points per game. And they're number one in passing yards per game. And they're middle of the pack for rush yards. But without further ado... Alright. You gotta embrace it, man. Game's gonna be the last of our season. Caleb McGarry, he's gonna be back for this game. As we are going to be missing Dante Howard Jr. Barely. Josh Andrews doesn't able to return. AJ McCarron's not. Isaiah Oliver isn't. What sucks is Kendall Sheffield. Mainly. But. We have some staff points to spend. Alright. And. Uh, we are not going to look at the awards for this season. Well, we are, but you see the yearly awards. We're going to look at that on the off season. Well, I don't know when the off season stream will be. Also, I don't know if you guys will get an episode on Friday, just due to the fact that I still have to do an off season, a free agency, and then a well, uh. A free agency, a draft, and then I had to watch the free season games to decide who makes the final roster. So, you might get one Friday, like this Friday, or that, the Monday after, or I'm not even certain about that. But you'll definitely have an episode the Friday after that, so two Fridays away is when you'll have a guaranteed episode. So, you might have to wait a bit, but... Send a deep pass. We gotta. They have some burners, man. You gotta counter the blitz. Our last time training this season. Sad. Now, looking at the defense first. Let's hope we don't. Isaiah Oliver, it's an ACL sprain. Well, he's he's injured anyway, so I don't really think that matters. Jalen Mayfield goes down with an injury. Was he a starter, or was he just a backup? As AJ Terrell and Kyle Pitts have upgrades. Two of the best players on our team. Jalen Mayfield, I believe, our third round pick from this year's draft. And Jalen Mayfield was a starter. Currently a 73 overall. He's playing up to a 75 with morale. He does not get to participate in the big game, which does suck. 
which means Colby Gossett, Gossett, or Justin Murray. We're gonna rock. We're rocking Colby Gossett. And without further ado, we will hop straight into this game. The Chiefs, they're an 86 overall. As you can see, Tyreek Hill, Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey. As we head to Super Bowl 56. We're in SoFi Stadium. Home of the Los Angeles Rams and the Los Angeles Chargers usually, but not today. Apparently my mic's been used the whole time though. That sucks, but you guys didn't really miss much. As I just nearly caught and dropped off the deflection. Um but yeah. Uh second and ten now from the 16 yard line. He's gonna dump it off to Travis Kelsey. He makes a man miss and he's gonna get to 28. That is enough for the first down as a gain of 12. I'm glad I noticed my mic was needed there because that could have been bad. Uh, it's first and ten from the 28. Patrick Mahomes going across the middle, and that is complete to Travis Kelsey. That put a 48 gain of 20 on the play. Travis Kelsey already gone for 32 yards on two receptions. AJ Terrell in the tackle there. That's first and ten from the 48. Patrick Mahomes going to look and throw. He's up. He's going deep. And he had Tyree kill, but he overthrew him. That's second and ten. Just gonna dump it off. Weird pass there. Looks like it might have almost been intercepted. That's third and ten from the 48 yard line now. Patrick Holmes is going deep. And that is caught and dropped by Tyree Kill. Way to force the incompletion there. As the punting unit is out there, Johnny Townsend, I believe, is their punter. And that will go out of bounds after 29. And here we see Matt Ryan coming out onto the field. 31 touchdowns with 15 interceptions. Matt Ryan did not have a very impressive year. He threw double the touchdowns to interceptions, but you'd like that number to be a lot higher. Especially when Patrick Mahomes is 48 to 14, I believe. As first and ten from the 29, he's going to pass it, and that is complete to Russell Gage. Taking it up to a 44-yard line, that isn't enough for a first down. Gain of 15 on the play. Mike Hughes on the tackle. As first and ten. Matt Ryan gets hit as he throws, but it's complete to Hayden Hurst. He's going to fight for those extra yards and take it across midfield to the 48. Gain of eight on the play. Anthony Hitchens on the tackle there. As second and two at the 48. Matt Ryan, he's going deep. He has Calvin Ridley. And that is caught for a touchdown. A 48-yard strike. Calvin Ridley lately has been torching defenders on the deep ball. As the extra point will be up. And the extra point is good. Making this score 7-0. As the Falcons get ready to kick this ball off. 
fielded at the four yard line. We're gonna see Byron Pringle returning. He's not gonna go anywhere. Down at the 18 yard line. A turn of 14 yards, I believe. Not very good. Not good at all. At first and 10, Patrick Mahomes to tie this game back up. He's gonna dump it off, and that is complete to his running back, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, for a gain of six. Patrick Mahomes, he's gonna throw. Wide open is Clyde Edwards Hilaire. He has no one. He's going. And he is going to be down at the nine yard line. Huge play there. That's first and goal. From the nine yard line. Patrick Mahomes is gonna take the snap. He's gonna look the throw. And that is going to be complete. To Tyree Kill for the touchdown. As their extra point kicker, their kicker, uh, Harrison Bucker, is going to go out there. And that kick is up. And it is good. Both teams get on the board early. And both of them get into, get some amazing deep balls already. Or deep plays, I should say. As Cordero Passion is going to watch a return it. And now he goes at the 19. Mike Hughes on the tackle, I believe. First and 10 now from the 19 yard line. Four minutes to go in this first quarter. He's going to dump it off to Kyle Pitts. He's going to take it up to the 26. Gain of seven on the play. As it's second and three, Kyle Pitts' first catch of the game. Second and three. Matt Ryan, he's going to have the pass. Nearly gets batted down, but that is going to be caught but out of bounds by I believe that was Mike Davis the running back as third and three now from the 26 yard line Matt Ryan gets the snap he's going to throw he's going to dump it off to Russell Gage he's going to take it up to the 38 that's a gain of 12 and enough for a first down first and 10 at the 38 under three minutes left to go in the first quarter oh sorry we might see our first run of the game and we do. And that is going to be wide open. Taking across the midfield. As a Steelers player is, or a Steelers. I don't even know how I said Steelers. Uh, a Chiefs player is down on the ground injured. Number 53. That's first and 10 from midfield down. We see another handoff. This one doesn't go as well. Mike Davis, 2 for 14. gets one on the play second and nine they're gonna give it right back to him he's gonna take it up to the 46 gain a three on the play now third and six right around that first down line is field goal range so as they're gonna dump it off to Cordero Patterson he's gonna take it up to the 40 yard line it's gonna be fourth and inches and the Falcons offense is out there Cordero Patterson on the reception there for six yards and they're going to elect to toss it instead of running up the gut. And that's going to go nowhere. Lost a free on the play, and the Chiefs defense holds. Now first and 10 from the 43. Chiefs get great field goal range after a turnover on down. Quiet Edwards Hilaire gets the carry. Takes it up to the 48. Gain of five on the play. With under a minute left to go in the first quarter. Second and five now. Pat Mahomes is going to look to throw. He's going to throw a screen pass. That's complete to Clyde Edwards Hilaire. He's going to take it across midfield up to the 45. That is enough for a first down. That's now first and 10 on the 20 seconds left to go. Clyde Edwards Hilaire, 3 for 80 on the receiving game already. That pass is going to be complete across the middle to Travis Kelsey taking it up to the 21. And that will likely end the first quarter, and it does. So first and ten from the twenty-one. The Chiefs are already driving down that field again. Patrick Mahomes is gonna look the throw. Feels pressure, he's gonna roll out and he's gonna dump it off to Travis Kelsey. He's gonna take it up to the eight yard line. And that is enough for a first down and first and goal. Chiefs offense is just so hard to beat. <clears throat> As they're gonna hand do a little jet sweep to Demarcus Robinson. And that's going to go to the four-yard line as a game of four. 
as it looks like they're gonna run the ball here. And Pyre Soler goes nowhere. That's third and goal. Looks like the Falcons. Ooh, the Falcons were in motion. And that is obviously going to be caught by no other man than Travis Kelsey. Once again, it is super hard to stop this Chiefs offense. As the kick is up, and it will be good. They're going to score 14-7. With Kyle Pitts. Or not Kyle Pitts, that's our team. Travis Kelsey, Tyreek Hill, Patrick Mahomes, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, Demarcus Robinson, Nicole Hardman, Byron Pringle's not bad. It's just really hard. That's first and ten. Matt Ryan's gonna get the ball. He's gonna dump it off to Calvin Ridley. He's taking it up to the 34. The gate of nine. Uh, just short of first down. Second and one from the 34. They're gonna hand it off to Mike Davis again, who's gonna stiff arm a guy. Who's gonna take that all the way up to the 49 yard line. Huge gain on the play there. That's first and ten now from the 49 yard line. Matt Ryan's gonna look to throw. There's pressure. Great knock away there. That's second and ten. Matt Ryan's once again gonna look to throw. He feels pressure. And down he goes. Third and 23. The Falcons are ready. Looking like this is not gonna be their game. And this is what it is with the Super Bowl. You got to play the best football of your life. As that pass is going to be incomplete. As the Falcons punting unit is already out there. And the punt is going to be away. And they're going to let to return it. But go to 21. So maybe a gain of one on the play. So as first and 10 from 21. Patrick Mahomes playing like a stud already. He's going to take the field. He has no pressure at all. As the Falcons elect to send free, he's just going to dump it down to Clyde Edwards Hilaire. He's going to take it up to the 30 yard line, gain of nine on the play. As second and one. With just over four minutes left to go in the half. Patrick Mahomes is going to hand it off to Clyde Edwards Hilaire. He's going to take it up to the 36, gain of six. That is enough for a first down, as there's no one in the backfield, so this must be a pass. First and ten, Patrick Mahomes gets some pressure, but he's just going to dump it off to Travis Kelsey, who has five on the play, and that's enough for a first down. Or, uh, second and six, enough to get him across the 40, so 41. Second and six, he's going to dump it down, and that is complete. The Clyde Edwards Hilaire, and that is going to take him across midfield to the 46 for a first down. The Chiefs, you know, they usually go deep a lot, but now nah, they're ch checking it down as there is a penalty on the play. And it'll be holding on offense. That was a good stop, though. So, do they like to just take the loss? No, they're going to take the penalty with Thunder 2.5 to go in the half. First and 20 now after that hold penalty. Man in motion. Gonna fake the end around. Patrick Mahomes, he's going deep. He has Tyreek Hill open, but he overthrew him again. That's the second time this game. That's second and 20 now with 219 left to go in the half at the 44 yard line. They're gonna hand it off by Ors Hoare, who gets to the 45, gain of one on the play. As it is now third and 19, and that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. Third and 19, two minutes to go. They're going to elect to hand it off. And that's going to go nowhere. As that, they're going to lose yards on the play. Loss of one, maybe two, as the punting unit is out there. The punt is away and fielded at the the 14 yard line, taking it to the 17 yard line. Scored Eric Patterson. With 1:49 left to go in the half, in two timeouts, the Falcons look to potentially even up the score here. 
as he's just going to take it underneath to Kyle Pitts. He's going to take it up to the 27. That is enough for a first down. Falcons no huddle. Matt Ryan, he's going to let the throw. That pass is caught and dropped by Corey Pass. The Chiefs are getting constant pressure on this Falcons offense. As they're going to dump it off to Russell Gage, who takes it up to the 38, and a Chiefs player does go down with an injury. Jerron Reed, I believe. And that is going to just be enough for a first down. Russell Gage on the reception. First and 10 from the 38. Matt Ryan, he's going to let the throw. He's going to dump it off to Cordero Patterson. No, that's not Cordero Patterson. Is it? It's Mike Davis, who gets two on the play. As the Falcons are left to use their second time out, maybe they did not like the, the formation that the, the Chiefs were in. Have second and eight with a minute one remaining. Matt Ryan's going to let the throw. And that ball is batted down at the line of scrimmage. As third and eight. It looks like the Chiefs may only be rushing free. As already, Guy gets in the backfield. And that pass will be complete to Cordero Patterson across midfield for 48. As they look to go no huddle. That pass will be caught. Cordero Patterson is going to take it up to 29 and get out of bounds. And not for the first down. Falcons do receive the second half kickoff, I believe. And that pass will be complete by Russell Gage. Taking it to the nine yard line as that sets up first and goal. With 28 seconds left at the nine yard line. And still a timeout remaining. Matt Ryan's going to look to throw. He checks it down to Cordero Patterson. He takes it into the end zone and that is a touchdown. As the extra point is going to be up. And the extra point is good as this game is now tied officially at 14 apiece. The Chiefs may try and go downfield with their speed receivers. As they are going to elect to return it here. And going to be stopped at the 12 yard line. You might just see a runner or a kneel down here. There's no one in the backfield. The Chiefs are going to try and go and get themselves some points before the half ends with two kind of checks it down and that's complete and they're just going to let the clock run and that will take us to halftime and we are now at halftime there's the first half stats As we see, the Falcons on the short accuracy this game. And now we see the Chiefs and their short accuracy. Roughly the same, if you know. You compare them. As the kick is off and going to be fielded deep in the end zone. And they're going to elect not to return it. As first attempt for their own 25, the Falcons offense looks to get back out here and hopefully start with a, a bang. That pass is going to be complete to Cordero Patterson for a gain of four. As second and six. They're going to hand it off and right there to stop it is Tyra Matthew for a loss of one on the play. At third and seven, the Chiefs defense is already starting to show how good they can be. As Matt Ryan's going to dump it underneath to Tajay Sharp, his first catch of the game. He's still up. He's going to take it to the 44, and that is enough for a first down. That's first and ten from the 44 now. Matt Ryan's going to look to throw. That's going to be complete to Kyle Pitts. He's going to take it across midfield to the 47 for a gain of 9 for 2nd and 1. Matt Ryan is going to look to throw. There's pressure. And down he goes. 
Third and 11. A sack of 10 yards on the play. This, this Falcons O-line is not doing very well. As that Ryan's going to go deep and wide open is Calvin Ridley. He's going to make the catch and a touchdown. That is a 57-yard touchdown pass, I believe. And the extra point will be up and good. So I guess that's just a blown coverage there. As the kick is off. And down at the 15. This. As we see first and 10 from the 15. Just over five minutes left to go. Patrick Mahomes gets pressured. And great defense there. As that pass will be incomplete. At second and 10, they're going to hand it off to Clyde Edwards Hilaire, who takes it up to the 18 for a gain of three. Third and seven. Patrick Mahomes is going to look to scramble. He's just going to throw it away. Avoid taking the sack. As it's fourth and seven, and the punting unit is out there. The punt will be away from the eight yard line. Fielded at the 39, taking it up. Ooh, breaking a tackle, actually, taking it up to like the 41, 42 yard line. Return of three. That's first and 10 now with 425 left to go in the third quarter. Matt Ryan, he's going to take the snap. He's got all day. Feel some pressure from the left side. He's going to scramble away. And he's going to throw down field. And that is going to be complete by Kyle Pitts. Taking it up to the 22 yard line. A huge play there. And that is going to be enough for a first down. It's now first and 10 from the 22 yard line. They're going to elect to hand it off to Cordero Patterson. He's going to take it up to the 16. For a gain of 6 or 7. The second and 3. Juan Fornhill on the tackle. Second and three, Matt Ryan, he's going to take the snap. He's going to look the throw. And wide open in the, the corner of the end zone is Cordero Patterson for the touchdown. And the Falcons now take a two-score lead. But with 3 12 left to go in the third quarter, this game still is not over. As the Falcons now are leading 28-14. As we see the kickoff. And that will be received. Iron Pingo on a return. Let's go. Let's do it. First and ten. Down goes Patrick Mahomes. Down at the one yard line. Avoids a safety barely. Mike Pennell on the south there. Second and twenty three at the one yard line. Chiefs cannot take a safety here. They hand it off to Clyde Edwards Hilaire, who gets a lot of the guards back, taking it up to the 10 for a gain of 9. Now it's 3rd and 14. As you see, the Falcons fan coming all the way from Georgia to California in order to support their team in a Super Bowl. 3rd and 14. Patrick Mahomes get hit as he throws. And that pass is going to be caught by Nicole Hardman. He's going to take it all the way down to the 12-yard line. Patrick Mahomes now has his X-Factor. He's going to dump it off to Travis Kelsey. He's going to take it down to the 3-yard line for a gain of 8 on the play. Second and 2. Now... As surveying, he's going to dump it off, and that is going to be a touchdown to Clyde Edwards Hilaire to make this score 28 to 20 with the extra point yet to come. And it is good. 28 21 is our score now, with exactly one minute remaining in the third quarter, which means nine minutes left to go in regular time. 
we may see an overtime. As returning the kick is Cordero Patterson. Let's go, boys. It's now first and ten. Matt Ryan's going to look to throw. He dumps it off to Hayden Hurst, who catches it and takes it up to the 35. That is a gain of 12 and enough for a first down. As now first and 10, Cordero Passion breaks his tackle and takes it up to the 38, a gain of three on the play. So now we see second and seven. And that may have been the last play of this third quarter. As it was now in the fourth quarter. There's the third quarter stats. Pretty even stat wise. That's second and seven. That pass is going to be complete to Russell Gage. He takes it up to the 44. And I think that is going to be a yard or so shy of the first. And it is with two people in the backfield and Matt Ryan wind up at the line of scrimmage. They're going to hand it off to Mike Davis. He's going to take it up to the 47 yard line. And that is going to be enough for a first down. Now first and 10 with seven minutes left to go in this ball game. Porto Patterson gets the snap. And that will be enough for three on the play. So second and seven, taking it up to the midfield. Six and a half left to go. Going to hand it off. Mike Davis. Power forwards to the 46. For a gain of four. Now it's third and three. The Falcons are nowhere near field goal range. As they're going to elect to hand it off to Mike Davis again. He takes it up to the 36 yard line. Gain of 10. And they only need a three for the first down. That is enough for the first down. Now first and ten from the 36. Under five and a half left to go now. Matt Ryan's going to look to throw. Feels pressure and down he goes. Down at the 45. Chris Jones on the sack. As that will be a loss of nine. Second and 19 with just at five minutes now. They're going to let the hand it off. And that maybe gets a yard to Mike Davis. The Falcons need... Six yards for uh, field goal range. As they're not even going to elect for that. They're going to throw it deep to Calvin Ridley. He's going to catch in the one-on-one -on -one coverage and take it up to the eight-yard line. That is enough for a first down and a first and goal. Calvin Ridley four for 150 this game. With under four minutes left to go in the game. A touchdown may seal the game. That pass is going to be complete, Kyle Pitts, but there is a penalty on the play. And it's going to be roughing the passer. On Chris Jones. With 3.50 left to go, first and goal with the one yard line. They're going to give it to Mike Davis, who's going to power his way to the probably one inch line. As second and goal, there's no one on the outside for either team. So it's just like we run. And to Keith Smith, I believe. The fullback. He's going to take it in for the touchdown. The fullback. You never really see those guys play much. He gets a touchdown in the Super Bowl. As the Falcons take a 35-21 to 21 lead. With 3.19 left to go. The Chiefs are going to need to score quickly and stop the Falcons relatively soon so they can have a chance. As that will be taken at the 25, would have gone at the same spot if they didn't return it and they would have saved a bit of time. As first and 10 now from the 25, Patrick Mahomes gets the ball with his X factor on and down he goes, Grady Jarrett on the sack. Loss of 13 on the play, second and 23 with under three minutes left to go now. Back to Mahomes, he's going to get the snap. He's going to elect to dump it off, but that was covered. 
is now it is third and 23 with 237 left to go in this ball game. The Chiefs, they need something and they need it fast. Gonna throw across the middle to Travis Kelsey who might have got enough for a first down down at the 34 and they're gonna say he's a yard shy. The two minute warning approaching. Are the Chiefs gonna call a player? They're gonna try and think it over. They're gonna call a play and they're gonna hand it off. And I don't think he got there. <coughs> and it's Falcons ball with the two minute warning at the 34 yard line. The Falcons are first down away from ending this game. Chiefs use their first time out. Second and five. Gonna hand it off again to Mike Davis. Doesn't go anywhere. Chiefs use their second time out. The Falcons either need a first down or a field goal to end the game. They are in field goal range, but they give it to Mike Davis. And down at the 28, the Chiefs use their last time out. And that will now be fourth down. As the field goal unit is out there, the kick is up. And it is good. With a 17-point lead, the Falcons are more than likely going to win this game. The Chiefs, no timeouts and a minute 43 left. They're down by three scores. He's going to take it up to the 19-yard line or the 20. It's now first and 10 from the 20. Minute 40 left. Patrick Mahomes is going to throw it towards the sideline. Travis Kelsey, that's caught for a gain of 14. First and 10. Travis Kelsey, 9 for 122 this game. First and 10. Patrick Mahomes. Can dump it off. Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Getting four in the play. Chiefs are hurrying up. Patrick Mahomes. He's going to check it down again. That is Demarcus Robinson. First and 10. And there's 50 seconds left to go now. And down he goes, Grady Jarrett getting his second sack of the game. Lost it to 11 there. Under 30 seconds left to go, Patrick Mahomes gets a sack. Snap. He's going deep. And that was almost caught and almost intercepted as Burden 21. This game is over. But the Chiefs just trying to put points on the border, increase their stats. As he's going to. Chuck it deep to Byron Pringle, and that's incomplete. With 13 seconds left, 4 from 21, we see the Falcons fans happy in the crowd as they know their team has just won Super Bowl 56. 4 from 21. Patrick Mahomes, he's going, and that is going to be incomplete with 8 seconds left to go. The Falcons are in Neil formation. And with that, that should end the game. And that does it. The Atlanta Falcons are your 2021-2022 Super Bowl 56 Super Bowl champions. As you see them in disbelief. As they go from the fourth overall pick. And trading away are potentially their best player of all time in Julio Jones. To Super Bowl champions. against the team that's been in the Super Bowl three years and they've gotten to the tr conference championship four years in a row. As you see, they're all so excited. Matt Ryan holding that, holding that trophy. Now this brings the question though, even though Matt Ryan didn't have a very good season, just because they won the Super Bowl, does that potentially lead to Matt Ryan staying around. I assume Matt Ryan obviously wants to stay, but does the the team, the head coach, the GM, me, because that's me, want him to stay? This is what it all comes down to. 
He may be a, an offseason or a, a guy during the draft we trade away. As Matt Ryan was 24 for 29, 309 yards and four touchdowns. Patrick Mahomes was 21 for 32, 335 and three touchdowns. Rushing, Mike Davis was 14 for 52, 3.7 average. Clyde Edward O'Leary, 8 for 22, 2.7 average. Cordero Patterson, 3 for 13, 4.3 average. Keith Smith was 1 for 1 in a touchdown, and Matt Ryan was 1 for negative 1, but that was a new round. Receiving, Travis Kelsey, 9 for 122 in a touchdown. Clyde Edward O'Leary, 7 for 109 in a touchdown. Cordero Patterson, 6 for 66 in two touchdowns. Russell Gage, 5 for 65. Kyle Pitts, 5 for 70. Calvin Ridley, 4 for 150 and 2 touchdowns. Demarcus Robinson, 3 for 17. Hayden Hurst, 2 for 20. Nicole Harmon, 1 for 78. Tajay Sharp, 1 for 16. Mike Davis, 1 for 2. And Tyreek Hill, 1 for 9 in a touchdown. Blocking. Matt Hennessy, K.O. McGarry, Lucas Niang, Austin Blythe, Jake Matthews, and Joe Fooney. All a lot of sack. So, a lot of sack. Defensively, Grady Jarrett with two sacks, Chris Jones, Mike Pennell, and Derek Nottie all getting a sack. Jerron Reed and Frank Clark getting half sack kicking. Young Koku was one for one, and both teams were perfect on extra points. Young Koku kick was from 45. Punting, Johnny Townsend was three for 106, 36, or no, 35.3 average. Dustin Colco was 1 for 44 with a 44 average kick return. Cordero Patterson 2 for 37. Byron Pringle 6 for 105. Jarek McKinnon 1 for 14. Punt return 2 for 2 for Cordero Patterson. And 1 for 0 for Tyreek Hill. As that is going to end. The season. Of the season 1. Of this Atlanta Falcons series. And we end up with a bang. Who would have thought. I, I certainly didn't. That the Falcons. Would be Super Bowl champions. Out of all teams. But that will do it. As my contract does get extended, but I don't think this really matters. Free year. All right. Thank you. That doesn't really matter. Um, staff moves. During the offseason, Zach Taylor got fired. Seth Henry got fired. David Brown. Frank Reich. Garrett Pratt. Marlon Burgess. Mike McCarthy. Bill Duncan. Joe Judge. Todd Walters. Thomas Quinn. Mark Anderson, Eric Aguilar, Martin Kelly, Mac Williams, Ed Green, Dan Campbell, Craig Taylor. After one year, Dan Campbell gets fired. Craig Taylor, um, Lamont Booker, Patrick Bailey, Sammy Wagner, Zach Taylor got hired by the Colts. And Mike McCarthy gets hired by the Bengals. After the way our team played today, do we potentially consider getting a new offensive coordinator, even though our offense has been on fire? They're middle of the pack. Well, they're not good in rushing, but middle of the pack, basically. Our defense is number one or number two. <clears throat> Probably number one. <clears throat> so, but... That is going to end it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly did. <coughs> and I'll see you. Who knows when. Well for this series. You'll see me. You know. The rest of the week. Um. Quick. Reminder. Um. I'm just going to say this right now. This is going to break away from the realisticness of this franchise. Um. So obviously. Uh. This Thursday. Is Thanksgiving. And if you guys watch my YouTube channel consistently, you guys know I usually do a tier list video Thursday. Um, I am uncertain whether 
or whether or not I will be doing a tier list on Thursday just because it is a holiday. Like, obviously, I think Christmas, I don't know what day Christmas is, but there won't be a video on Christmas, more than likely. So, yeah. So, check my Twitter, because I'll definitely say there is a video, because it is a holiday, and it is a video I usually, or a video day I usually upload, so. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I did. And the Super Bowl 56 Atlanta Falcons and I will be saying goodbye until the next stream. I will be streaming on YouTube. I don't know when. It will definitely be either Friday or a day before Friday uh, of the whole off season. So it will just be the, the draft and free agency. And then I'll do another stream after that uh, watching it. Uh, my team play in the preseason to elect who goes on the roster or not. So, put notifications on for YouTube, uh, or follow me on Twitter. Notifications, uh, Yoshi underscore YZ. That's my social for Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. I occasionally stream on Twitch. I upload on YouTube. I post content on Twitch, and you know, Instagram. It's just there if you want to follow it because there's an occasional post, like maybe once every other month or something. But 